Hello everybody and welcome to another ball review here on the channel this time for the big rig bundle red wagon ball and season 51 ball very interesting interesting bundle before we take a closer look make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications for those of you that you want to take the next step in their game you go to patreon.com slash golf clash tommy you do have the link in the description down below and have in mind that we are now making it possible for you that whenever you subscribe during the month you have access for one month and that is a big thing for us as creators on Patreon. Let's take a look at the Red Wagon Ball uh, to start with. Trucking style is the Red Wagon Ball. Power 5, top spin boost 1, side spin 5. And what doesn't show is the wind 0. And then we have power yeah, power through the course with this legendary power and side spin combo. Sporting a sleek look is the brand new season 51 ball. Power 2, precision 4, side spin 3 and wind resistance 5. Always being controlled with its legendary wind resistance and epic precision. Interesting. Interesting. And before we take a closer look here, I'm actually going to have to go in here because I bought all the balls. Uh, make sure to comment in the comment section below what you think uh, about this bundle so let's start with the red wagon ball power five and we do have a uh, needle stability at plus two this is a really good ball in specific situations in my opinion when it comes to looking at this one from a tournament perspective this is a good ball in the sense of using it for send it opportunities you know all from pole fours par fives if we can send it to green where off obviously in headwinds uh, and in crosswinds it's gonna be more or less yeah non-usable because it's gonna be too much wind on the second shot and uh, too much obviously wind on the drive as well to be able to do that well when it comes to tour play i give it one out of ten and the reason i do that is because of the power five and the wind zero i mean again we're not gonna use these this type of ball so i'm just gonna put it at one out of ten i mean maybe you could be kind say two out of ten due to it has side spin five but in the end though there is not really any stat that is appealing to uh to a tour player on this one so this is purely a tournament specific ball for certain situations in a tournament when it comes to the season 51 ball this is probably a ball that's going to be the first step. I know we have had some precision balls before, but I think this one, by giving it a power two, this is the first step towards making many, many, many balls obsolete. What I mean with that is that we have invested a lot in this game to get different type of win five balls, uh, but obviously that is they have no precision. This ball with a power two, uh, allows us now to be able to play par fours and even par fives in a much greater extent than what we could do with the power zero win five side spin uh side spin and uh, and um yeah power zero side spin three or five and then wind five precision five because now with a power two we're gonna have plus yardage on our clubs when we're doing pin check, fringe check and everything like that, which means that we're not having to rely on being able to play from max or min line, which means that this ball is going to be able to be used on more or less every single hole in every single wind angle. The only thing that takes it down a notch is the power two, because the power two obviously will make some certain headwind combos on long par fives and stuff like that make this ball being not useful where a power three or maybe a power four would be better. But in the end, this you can use on power on power threes, this you can use on power fours, this you can use on power fives in many angles besides maybe direct headwinds. And you will see this ball being used. And I wanna say, I've been saying this about precision before, I don't like it. I'm using it because that's the way the game is now. And I'm not gonna, sit here and say that I'm not just gonna I'm not gonna use it just because I don't like it because it's part of the game but that I don't like it because it removes uh, the difficultness by hitting perfect and I think that should still be a thing in this game and making balls like this is gonna make once again the other balls eventually be uh, absolutely useless because we're gonna play with precision balls all the way and I don't like that I do not and uh, but that's my opinion let me know what you think about the precision 
in the bottom. I ranked this ball as a tournament 9.5 out of 10. I want to have a power 3 to be a 10 out of 10. When it comes to tour play, 8.5 out of 10. That's because of the power. We do a power 2, obviously. And we do have a plus 3 overpower needle stability, which is absolutely brilliant. This is an absolute brilliant ball. And I'm sorry to say that. If you're playing in Master Division, this is a ball you have to get if you're going to um, continue to fight. Uh, when it comes to expert, I think it's worth getting some there as well. Pro and rookie, I normally don't use special balls personally, but it obviously is going to help there too if you're gonna get it there. Let's take a look at the needle speed in action. Both of the balls are round, both of them has a good needle speed. Make sure to subscribe to patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy. We're obviously providing guides that you can play with free to play balls and you can also play with paid balls in a brilliant extent so make sure you sign up we do have the link in the description down below patreon.com slash golf clash tommy you can see both of the balls once again they're round and have a good needle speed this is probably one of the better bundles we have had in this game uh in my opinion especially season 51 ball but the red wagon ball is not bad it's definitely gonna be useful in certain situations as already said let me know what you think in the comments below thank you so much and good luck in your golf clash game